you're doing a big marketing push to get people to pre-sign up for your product, you have no idea whether those people actually really want your product. So in a lot of ways, I actually counsel the exact opposite. I call it a high hurdle experiment. A high hurdle. Like you're running a race and you put a high hurdle. And so the example for that is, a, is a app fog. Do you, you guys use PHP fog or app fog? So it's a cloud services for people that program in PHP. It's like a Haruko. Do people know Haruko, which is for Ruby on Rails? So this guy did a high hurdle experiment. To me, this was genius, right? So he, he's like, there's a group of PHP developers hanging out on Hacker News talking about that they needed a Haruko for PHP. So there's his market segment, right? People that are sh have the same problems and, and they're hanging out in the same place. So he knows his market segment. He's part of his own market segment. So he's like, okay, I'm gonna go build it. This is my big opportunity. You know, he's had a bunch of these small projects. He's gonna go, go big. So he did the landing page test. Uh, put up one page, Haruko for PHP, put the link on Hacker News, went to bed, woke up, he's got 800 people signed up. So oh, that's pretty good market signal, so he starts coding. Coding, coding, yeah, I'm gonna build this rock solid platform, these people are gonna love it. Four weeks go by, he's got 4,000 people signed up. But he's thinking, it's gonna take me six months, nine months to finish this product, what's gonna happen to those 4,000 people? I've promised them product, they're gonna be pissed off, Mailbox, by the way, is so buggy, um, it's like pissing me off, but the, I still love the product. But, so this guy is like, uh, what do I do? I've got 4,000 people, They're, they want my product, I've promised them a product, I don't have it. So he does this high hurdle experiment. He actually gives them a marketing survey, and the goal of the marketing survey is to get as few people to fill it out as possible. As few people to fill it out as possible. So what he's trying to do is unearth the people that have the biggest pain are gonna be my earliest most passionate adopters. And so he feels it's a, you know, an hour long survey. It's not like a, <laughs> it's not like marketing best practices, nine questions with radio boxes and check boxes. It's, it's like open-ended questions. What's the meaning of life? What's your favorite color? What's your second favorite color? Anything to get people not to fill the survey out. So he sends that out to his customers. 2,000 people filled out that survey. <laughs> But so what he found out by doing some data mining and reading all of the surveys is that if he built just this handful of features, it was gonna be good enough to get them on board. So within a week, he built three features, the back end for just these three features, launched it, exponential growth, raised $10 million, exited about a year ago. And so to me, it's like, if you, if you purposefully use marketing to get as many people to sign up as possible, what percentage of those numbers is bullshit? You might be completely bullshitting yourself that you've got a market because you worked hard to get a bunch of signups. The trick is, is that you know, it's, it's well known, right? You can go pay customers to come on board, right? You can give them something and they'll come on board. But if they come on board and then they don't become engaged users, then you're wasting a lot of money on that marketing. So if you've proved the value for that market, right, that they actually wanna use that service, it's already proven, then those market tactics are great to get them onboarded because you're, you're, it's a very low cost for you to create new customers that you've measured their lifetime value, right? So that's, all, that's just the equation, is the lifetime value of my customer more greater than the cost of acquiring the user. Yeah. But if you're acquiring users that don't produce that lifetime value because you're acquiring the wrong user or you don't have you haven't proven the value to them, then you're just spending a lot of money and not getting the lifetime value.